Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to be showing you my August favorites. Now, I know I don't normally upload during the week, it's usually on Sundays, but I thought I'd throw in this surprise video for you. Starting off with makeup, I have two foundations. The first was the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation, and I have normally dry skin, so this was pretty good. It says Shine Free Foundation, and it is foundation, and then on the inside, the little ring, it has like powder, if you can see it. And I think it works pretty well. It applied really nicely. It didn't apply too dry or anything. It just worked well with my oily skin. I didn't apply this to my whole face. I just applied it to the center where I needed the most coverage. This is the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Liquid Foundation. And this one I've had for a while. I have a lot of foundations because I'm constantly trying new ones, trying to find the one that works best for my skin. In the middle of this month, I got a facial. And during the facial, she put on a mask on my face with salicylic acid. And that is to help with like blackheads and acne and things like that. And that really dried out my skin really badly. So with this foundation, it was clinging to all the dry spots. So if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Stick. So I went back to this liquid foundation. And I've been using this one. I use this with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, maybe. Now it's been two weeks, maybe three, since I got the facial. So I probably could go back to this one. If your face is dry, I would not recommend using this. I'm pretty sure they have in the same packaging different kinds like this is the oil control formula I'm pretty sure they have one for dry skin and everything like that too if you have oily skin I'd recommend either of these so Maybelline stick foundation was a favorite for the first half of the month and the CoverGirl is a favorite for the second half of the month next on makeup still face makeup this is the NYC bronzer and this is in sunny um, 720A sunny in case you were wondering this bronzer is talked about throughout the whole beauty community and I find it's a really good color to bronze with I do tend to do a little bit of contouring typical contouring bronzing areas. If you have a darker skin tone than I do, this probably wouldn't work. It might be a little bit light. I know there is an e.l.f. bronzer that's like a lot darker matte chocolatey brown that I really want to try out for contouring. Next is this L'Oreal lip stain. I don't know exactly what the product is called technically, but it's a lip stain. This is in 187 Infinite Fuchsia. I have it on right now. I put it on for you guys for the video. And I know these are comparable to the YSL glossy stains. And so I thought, hey, might as well try it out too, because I really like the color. I think it is a great color for fall. I mean, you can wear whatever you want, whatever time of the year, but that's just me. And so this one is deeper, but still kind of bright. I like to wear nice bright colors on my lips. I think it really keeps my face alive. So this is a great color if you're looking for a bright that's still usable for fall. It does take a little bit of time to get it an even color around your lips. It's not just like you slap it on and you go. It is a lip stain, so you have to be careful with it. And it takes a little bit of time, but I think it really is worth it. It does stay for a long, long time. I put it on during the day. The gloss wears off, but it still stains your lips for, like, the entire day. Like, I can eat, and it will still be there. Like, it is intense staying power, so I highly, highly recommend these. Especially because these are drugstore products, and the Y sale is, like, some 30-something dollars. Like, if you're looking for a dupe, these are a pretty good dupe, I would think. Next is this makeup brush, and it is from Crown Brush. I bought a Sephora brand smudgy brush that was, like, $18. And then I went on... Outlook and they had a crown brush sale going on. If you don't know what Outlook is, it's a site where they have designer brands really discounted. Um, they have new sales every day. I'll link it down below. I'm not affiliated with it or anything like that. I'm just going to link it down below for you guys. So Outlook was having a crown brush sale and there were three brushes. It was a smudgy brush, this fluffy one, and another brush. I forget what it is. It's sitting right there, but I can't really see it. And so I thought, oh, I'll get that one because it was like $8. And once I had to ship it, it became like $16. But let's just look at this. $16 for three crown brushes or one Sephora brand brush for $18. I've heard good things about crown brush, so I was really excited to try them, and I fell in love with this blending brush. I find it would probably be similar to the MAC 217, the white blending brush. It is 217, right? It is flatter on this side and then rounder that way, and it's tapered. you see that? And honestly, it does the best job of like blending and placing color into the crease. When you hear people on YouTube say, let the brush do the work for you, this is that kind of brush. I like to take this and kind of buff in my crease color and then really blend it out with the <laughs> Essence of Beauty blending brush, like the black one. I'm not sure how much these brushes retail for. Normally, I will link it in the down bar below if I can find it. But if you can catch these on Outlook, I would highly, highly recommend picking them up. So that's all for makeup, and now I'm going to move on to skincare. So my main problem with my skin is blackheads, and when I got the facial, it really took care of that and got all that out, but of course I'm not going to be getting facials all the time. I know that salicylic acid is really good for clearing up blackheads because it goes like into the pores and cleans it. I will link below the Goss makeup video I just watched that had to do with blackheads and teen skin and acne and things like that. You guys should really check it out, I learned a lot. So these are the salicylic acid treatments I've been using. This is the Blackhead Eraser Scrub from Clean and Clear. It has... 2% salicylic acid in it, and this isn't something you leave on your skin, obviously. It's like an exfoliant. 
So I use this maybe once or twice a week, and it is good that it has salicylic acid in it because while it's exfoliating my skin, it can kind of help to work on my blackheads. This is the Neutrogena All-in-One Acne Control Facial Treatment. It says clears up acne past, present, and future, and this has 1% salicylic acid. And I apply this twice a day just to my nose area. It's where I get the blackheads. They say you can apply it one to three times a day, kind of like testing out your skin. You want to make sure that you're not applying it three times a day the first time you use it because it might really dry out your skin because salicylic acid is drying. I started using this once a day, and I've moved on to twice a day. I probably won't do three times a day because I'm in school. I wouldn't necessarily call these a huge favorite because I don't really know if I'm seeing results yet. I do have a really bad problem with blackheads, that might be it, it might work for other people. But I wanted to let you guys know about what I'm doing for my skincare and let you guys know about these products. So next is hair care, and I finally got into the habit again of using scrunchies on my hair while I sleep at night. I don't like to sleep with my hair down because it just gets in my face and it's just uncomfortable and I just don't like it. But I sleep with my hair in a ponytail. And a lot of the times my hair is in a ponytail, if I pulled it up during the day or whatever, it'll be in just a normal hair type. And those can be really bad for your hair if you sleep in them because it causes a lot of breakage. So things like scrunchies are better. So I've gotten back into the habit of taking out my hair tie and putting the scrunchie in after I've like washed my face and when I'm getting ready for bed. The last beauty item is my curling wand. This is by Remington. I'm not exactly sure what the size is, so I'll put that in the down bar below when I figure it out. And this summer, I finally learned how to curl my hair. Now, I use this today. This is called the Egg Curled My Hair in the Morning, and I went to school all day, came home, did homework, and now I'm filming a video. So, it's pretty much fallen out completely, but I mean, I still nice waves by the end of the day. So if you guys want a tutorial on how I curl my hair, you can just leave a comment below. I'm like, I'll do that one for you guys. Try really hard not to touch this. It gets really, really hot really, really fast. I've burnt myself so many times on this thing. I've burnt my forehead, and I've burnt my hands so many times. It is really extremely painful. 350 degrees, people. I have a food favorite this month, and these are banana chips. And I don't know if it counts as a monthly favorite, because I kind of got them like two weeks ago. But like, look how many I've eaten in two weeks. Okay, like my mom's eaten some too, but... Come on, like I've eaten a lot. They're really, really good. These are also really great if you want to put them in trail mix, just like some nuts and I just put raisins and a little bit of M&Ms and then banana chips in trail mix. And it's really nutritious for you because it has all the protein and vitamins and stuff from nuts and then gives you a little bit of sweetness with a couple of, I like dark chocolate M&Ms, a couple of dark chocolate M&Ms and these. The last thing I'm going to talk about is a person favorite of the month and it is the YouTuber Megan Rosette. Now I'm pretty sure I'm like obsessed with her because I've watched all of the videos on her vlog channel and I've gone way back on her main channel to like all the way back to like Christmas. Now I used to watch her, I think it was two years ago. I've been watching YouTube for a really long time and I didn't necessarily love her videos. I have no idea why because I'm so obsessed with her. So I really love her videos. I can relate to her a lot. I feel like we're slightly the same person. I don't know if you guys see it on camera, but like when I watch her videos, like she says things and does things that I kind of do. Like she always says, oh, it's a thing. And like I see that too. So I just thought it was really funny to like see things I have in common with her. And I really love her style and I think she's gorgeous and she makes great, great videos. She's a really strong person and I really admire her for that. So go check out her channel. I'll link it in the down bar below. I'm sure a lot of people watching this video might already be subscribed to her. But go check her out if you haven't. I'm sure you're going to love her. Give this video a thumbs up if you like monthly favorites. And leave a comment below telling me what your monthly favorites are. Because I would love to try out new beauty products. Please subscribe if you like my videos. Check out my favorites playlist down below. And see you guys later. Bye.